Hi there, and welcome back to another edition of A Cup of Joe with Joe. Today I'm joined by very special guests, Chai Sharp and Ethan Del Mastro. Costini wasn't sure where it was. Sharp shot, they scored. And it was blocked. There's a shot. Del Mastro scores. How's it going, guys? Good, how are you? I am absolutely thrilled to have you guys on the show. Thank you, thank you. Excited to be here. Heard it's a great show. A lot well, about it. It sure is, and it's even better with you guys here. So guys, it's been a very busy schedule the past couple weeks. How are you guys maintaining uh, your physical health and taking care of yourselves? A lot of games, so it's obviously sore on the body, but we're just trying to maintain and stay healthy. So just a lot of recovery stuff. Awesome. Gotta, gotta stay prepared. Ice so fed, fix everything. Nice, good ice baths. You know, after a game, always focus on recovery and not just kind of nice. brushing it off. You know, heard from a great source once, um, ice bath can fix everything. Nice. No yeah. matter what the injury is, you just hop in the ice bath and you're, you're ready to, to go. go next game. I do like my ice baths. Yeah. Yeah. So City TV is coming out with a brand new hit reality show about the Steelheads. Who do you think would be the main characters of that show? I think it's pretty obvious, the blue line. The blue line, yeah, consisting yeah. of... Uh, James, Luca, and Ty Collins. Both of his line mates, only one defenseman, Del Bell Blues, over to Collins, back to Hardy. Hardy puts it in the back of the net. They are the talk of the town, you know, had, had a good night the other night, all three of them. I saw that. On the so. I don't know if you saw it, but it was on all their stories. It, it, it oh, was on all their stories. About 10 times. Yeah, <laughs> into the next day in practice, you knew you were going to hear about it. Now, and how do you deal with such uh, vibrant personalities? You know, it's fun. I think they're just uh, characters around the room, so it's kind of fun to joke with them and, and, and let them know that their uh, their heads are a little big. Who do you think is that one character that's going to butt its head into into all the problems? I have to say Charlie Callahan for sure. He likes to snap it. A recent guest. A recent guest. A recent guest. Yeah. And you come across Mike, and he has a warning label across his chest. What would that warning label say? I mean, if that warning label's not covered in stains. Um. <laughs> you know, he's, he's a great episode. guy, but um, he does love to snap it around and, and you know, create some problems and uh, create a little friction in the room. I have a quote here from an anonymous source that says, he likes to stir the pot. I can you can confirm, you confirm that? that? I can, I can yeah, he likes to you start arguments and then put it on other people and then those two start arguing. So he just kind of throws a grenade and leaves oh, yeah. and lets everyone just else lets deal it, with he it. Just watches. That's Come interesting. We might have to have uh, him back on the show to, to discuss this with, put, put him on the stand. So Ethan, what would Chris, <laughs> Chris? So Ethan, what would Chaz go TikTok famous for? I mean, he could go for a, a lot of things. You know, he's got some good dance moves. But um, to be honest, the thing I think he'd go famous for is um, if he was to kind of make a, an outfit kind of account. Oh. So, you know, he'd go in and show them his outfits of the day. Yeah. He's got some good style, and uh, he likes to spend a little bit of money on clothes. So I definitely think that's a, a possibility. Nice. I like yeah. that. And he what would you do for he Ethan? Likes to steal my clothes before we move on from the subject. Oh. Controversy, yeah, yeah. drama. <laughs> what would he okay, what, what, would he, what would Ethan? Man, that's a hard one. You know, I feel like maybe some dancing. Nice, I've yeah. Seen him crank some moves in the room. So he does have some nice gym gym moves. He likes well, to sway the shoulders stiff, a little bit. Yeah, you can work on it. I can work. That's good. He can do a couple of the TikTok dances. I feel. Yeah. So for this next segment, we're gonna be doing the newlywed game, where Chaz is gonna write down Ethan's answer, and Ethan's gonna write down Chaz's answers on a variety of subjects. To start. How about, what is each other's favorite genre of music? No peeking. You guys ready to reveal? Three, two, one, go. Rap. And is that right? Yeah. I think so. Nice. So what, what would be, what's your favorite song? Off the top of your head, first song you're going to play. I don't have a favorite, honestly. No? I like a... I like country too, so I like the, my playlist is nice. full of different yeah. stuff. So. He, he does have a variety of songs. Yeah. I nice. like Sharpie on the Ox, you know. He does, uh, does like a couple throwbacks that I like to... Uh, a high demographic of tunes. Yeah, he nice. does like uh, replay it by Zendaya quite a lot. Oh, yeah. that's he a good one. Nice. We like to sing in the car together sometimes. Nice. Time, so. That's fun. What's the... What's the Duet. Danzu, Danzu what is it? <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I'm here. You're an What are each other's go-to pre-game meal? And reveal. Chicken and rice, nice. And wow. salmon. Oh, salmon. That's a little off the board. Yeah. Why salmon? I gotta get my omega threes in here. Nice. Get right gotta right. get those omegas. Now, name a word or phrase that you both of you overuse. <laughs> All right, and reveal. Bruh, what's up, buddy? A lot of lies. He does use bruh a lot, so that's why uh, I chose to choose this word. He says sup, buddy, every time he comes in the room. He's like, sup, buddy. And lastly, if you guys weren't playing hockey, what would you guys be doing with your lives? 
Okay, and reveal. A TikToker and a nurse. Oh. <laughs> Why? He's a smart lad. He's a smart lad, you know. So. So specifically, a nurse. I don't know. I just think he'd be like he likes school and he'd take that route, you know. Yeah. So a school guy, a, a school guy, school a, a nerd. Guy. Yeah, and I, you know, I personally chose TikToker because um, <laughs> on the other side, um, the complete other end. And then, um, I do think he would be a part of Hype House, and um, he would lead them um, because of his dance moves. That's true. I can see Sharpie being a TikToker. <laughs> Well, guys, this has been an absolute blast. Thank you so much for coming on the show. Uh, hopefully, have you guys back on again uh, in Very the future. Soon. This has been A Cup of Joe with Joe.